Good morning. Uh, in this lecture video, I'm going to explain a data transfer instruction with the stack memory. So as we observed in the previous videos, data transfer with internal memory, external memory and code memory. So in this video, how do we transfer a memory to a, a I mean, a, a data to a stack memory? So first we'll see what is stack and stack point. The stack is a temporary storage area. Suppose our uh, registers are not sufficient. Since we have a limited number of registers, if they are not sufficient, we can configure the internal memory as a stack memory. So section of RAM is used to store information temporarily. That can be a, I mean information can be a, a data or an address. So here stack register, I mean stack point is a register. <laughs> used to hold the address of a stack that means to access the stack so what's address of a stack memory by default it is initialized to 07h and it is the address of an r7 of bank 0 and it can be changed to any other address by using an instruction so in general it is safe to initialize a stack pointer to higher allocations so there are two instructions associated with the stack they are push and pop instructions so this is a push stack and stack pointer. So remember, stack is a temporary storage area. So this is used to store either data or address when uh, the uh, registers are not sufficient for our operation. And these push and pop instructions uses only direct addressing mode. So an SP stack pointer contains address of the RAM where the data from source address can be pushed or from where the data to be passed to the destination address. So your stack pointer is used in indirect addressing mode, but not specified in the mnemonic. Uh, so hence it is called implied. It is called implied. So it is implied that SP holds the indirect address whenever pushing or popping takes place. So first we'll see push instruction. So it copies data from source address to a stack. So first, uh, it increments the stack pointer by one then data is pushed to the address pointed by stack that means stack grows upward in memory as it is pushed so if you keep on pushing the data excessive pushing makes a stack exceeds the savannah feature that is top of the internal RAM then after which the data is pushed or last and this is the uh, instruction format push source source is a direct address so operation is first sp is incremented by one and then content of source is copied to the location pointed by sp increment sp by one then copy the content of source address to the internal RAM address in R sp so let's consider an example <coughs> As a, let's consider a simple program segment so start with r 0 move r3 comma hash 33 means store 33 in r3 and store uh, 22 in R2 and then if you say push R push 03 means push the content of R3 and if you say push R2 push the content of R2 this is end up a simple program segment let's see how the stack memory will be see uh, when the first two instruction executes R3 is equal to 33H and R2 is equal to 22H Okay. And this is the stack memory. So these are the addresses 07, 08, 09, 08, 08. It is initial, initial stack. By default, as I said, it is pointing to SP. Okay. So whenever the push instruction executes, okay, first it increments the stack pointer to 8. And to this location, content of R3, that is 33 will be copied. 33 will be copied. And then uh, after uh, second push instruction, again it increments the pointer to next location that is 209 and then to this location content of R2 that is 22 is copied okay. and okay so this is all uh, it is keep on if you use a further push instruction it is increments and then push content uh, copy the content of source into the corresponding location first it increments and then to that location content will, of source will be copied okay. and pop instructions also same thing but it copies data from stack to destination address. That means data is copied first and then stack pointer is decremented by one. 
first copies the data from start to destination and then uh, start point is decremented by one and this is the mnemonic pop destination first get the data pointed by start pointer to destination and then start point is decremented by one okay. let's see one example program segment pop 0 2 pop 0 1 pop 0 0 end okay. right i mean 0 2 means it is the address of r2 copies the data from start to r2 next instruction 0 1 means it is the address of r1 register copies data from start to r1 and data from start to r0 let's say and initially it contains uh, i mean 0 7 contains uh, 5 7 5 8 5 9 5 8 5 8. this is not and it is pointing to the location let's say it is pointing to the 0 pH. so when our first pop instruction executes first content of this data that is 5b is copied to initially they are all zero initially they are zero. so now first 5b is copied to r2 r2 becomes 5b and then start pointer decrements it is pointing to 0 a okay so now when the second instruction pop 1 executes okay now sp is pointing to the location 5a right now so uh, i mean put to the address 0 a it contains 5a this 5a is copied to r1 copies to r1 and then sp decrement to 909 so with the third instruction third pop uh, operates executes now sp is pointing to the location 09 it contains 5 that 5 is copied to r0 5 copied to r0 and then again it is decremented by 1 so it is a uh, with the push up pop operation first get the data and then start point is decremented by 1 okay so this is about push and pop instructions now we'll see uh, the third set of instruction uh, data exchange data exchange so it is a general format xch destination comma source i mean content of destination is copied to source and content of source will be copied to destination so most data from source to destination and destination to source that means data is swapped between the two locations so except immediate address mode all address modes may be used so here we cannot use immediate address mode so the different mnemonics are xch a comma r exchanger data bytes between the register rn and accumulator a so suppose if a is equal to 33h okay and r3 is equal to 66h if we say xch a comma r3 these data are exchanged i mean a becomes 66 and r3 becomes 33 okay and one more mnemonic is xch a comma address exchanges the data bytes between the direct address and a suppose if a is having 33 and ram address 20h is having 66 if you say xch a comma uh, 20h means a will be having the content of 20h that is 66 after execution and the memory will be having the content of a that is 33 and xch a comma at rp at rp means it's a pointer register exchanges the bytes between a and address in rp suppose if a is 33 r naught is equal to 20 and ram address 20h is equal to 66 so that means address uh, this uh, address of ram that is 20h is having 66 that is stored in r naught now if we say xch a comma at r naught okay at r naught i mean exchanges the content of memory location pointed by r naught with a so to the a content of the location pointed by r naught that is 66 will be copied and to this location content of a that is 33 is copied clear no fine and one more so we have three instructions we have three instruction uh, all exchanges will happen i mean one operand must be a one more operand must be a and second can be an indirect address or direct address or any register and one more exchange instruction exchange xchd xchd a comma at rp exchange is the lower nibble of a and uh, content of address in rp and upper nibble are 
remains unchanged. Only lower nipples are going to be exchanged. Upper nipples remain same. So suppose again the same example we consider. Here A is equal to 33, R naught is equal to the address 20H and the memory location 20H contains 66. If you say XCH D A comma at R P, see the lower nipples are exchanged. Here lower nibble of A is 3 that is copied to the lower nibble of the location 20H. And the location 20H lower nibble is 6 that is copied to the register A. Only lower nipples are exchanged. Upper nipples remain same. Clear? This is about exchange instruction. So we have four exchange instructions. Exchange A with the register. Exchange A with the direct address. Exchange A with indirect address. And exchange the lower nipple. Lower nipple. Okay. So with this, that are data transfer instructions are over. So we will continue in the next video.